Cool. I'm not building a couch for it. I'm looking for my condom. For what? Condom. It's for protection. It's cool to carry one around. But what's it protect you from? You're way too young to understand. No, I'm not. Look, all I can tell you is that a teacher got fired for putting one on a banana. I could be in a lot of trouble if I don't find it before Mom and Dad do. I'll give you five bucks if you help me. Okay. What's it look like? It's about this big, it's purple, and it's got a round thing inside. But how does that protect a banana? I'll give you six bucks if you stop asking questions. Hey, boys, what's going on? You know, build a couch for it. It was fun. Now we're done. Huh. Hmm. Roses. Who's the thoughtful guy? I don't know, but I think he feels pretty guilty about something. <laughs> well, what I have to feel guilty about? Well, you did just spend three days performing at an all-girls college. Oh, yeah. Come on, Train. I'm old enough to be some of those girls' older boyfriend. <laughs> Well, hello, Hamilton. Oh, hey, Barry. Hey, Barry. Hey. What brings you by this fine morning? Oh, and what a fine morning it is. Golf weather, I'd call it. <laughs> well, uh, would you like to play? I can't. I got laundry to do, and I really want to spend some time with Trina and the boys. Oh, I completely understand. In fact, holy cow. What exquisite roses. What's the occasion? The occasion is I have a beautiful wife. <laughs> Enough already with the beautiful wife. You know, that's all I ever hear. Oh, my God, go play golf. I'll wait if you want me to. I do. Get out of here. Oh, hey, I, uh, I found a beehive on the front porch, so I had an exterminator come out and take care of it. And he was pretty cute, too. Mm. Well, now, after contractors, exterminators are known as the prettiest of the handyman. <laughs> well, anyway, he's going to come by later today and take care of any stragglers. I can't believe you're wasting money on a guy to come by and take care of a few bees. I'm a man. I can handle a few insects, Trina. <laughs> after you, Braveheart. <laughs> Do guys actually use this flap? Oh, Rodney does when he's doing what he likes to call his puppet show. You know, for a toy that only does one thing, guys never get tired playing with it. Mm. What's this? That would be a condom, and save me the wrapper, will you? <laughs> Two more, I get a leather jacket. I know it is a condom, but what is it doing in my husband's laundry that he just brought home from an all-girls college? Oh, Trina. There are plenty of reasons why Rodney would have a condom. Okay, you're right, I'm being silly. So what are some of those reasons? <laughs> Maybe when he was doing all that driving, he didn't want to get out of the truck to pee. Charlie, he has a coffee can for that. <laughs> Trina, stop. Rodney would never cheat on you. Even at an all women's college out in the middle of nowhere where there's nothing to do. God, those girls must be out of their minds, horny. <laughs> Charlie, thank you. Come on, it's Rodney. <laughs> you girls sure don't wear a lot. We got hot from all the laughing. <laughs> hey! Don't hug the sun! Yeah. Yeah. Girls, everybody gets a turn, all right? Number seven. Who's number seven? Oh, I'm number seven. Hey, me too! Relax, we'll get this straightened out. Now, where's the other two number sevens? <laughs> you better be peeing in them. Did you get them all? Yep. I was here the other day and got most of the hive. Why don't you take care of the queen? The rest is easy. <laughs> That's what my wife always says. <laughs> Come on in, we'll get you paid. So let me ask you something. If uh, they decide to rebuild that hive, uh, what, sh what should I do? Well, you could try and spray it with a hose or poke it with a stick. Then you'd want to call me from the hospital. <laughs> 
So you haven't any other problems with the ants, have you? What ants? Oh, I was here a couple weeks ago. You were working up in Green Bay. Huh. huh. <laughs> Trying to tell you that? Yeah, she's a sweetheart. Pretty lady. <laughs> well, if you need anything, call me. Your wife has my number. What the hell? A condom? Once you take care of the queen, the rest is easy. Is it true that a bee can only use its stinger once? Of course not. Now, do you want me to spray you with water or poke you with a stick? Bees my ass. It's not here. All right, we gotta retrace our steps. What did we do after we played video games? We went in Mom and Dad's room to jump on the bed. That's right. You kept hitting your head on the ceiling fan. <laughs> yeah, you kept laughing, and it wasn't funny. Are you positive you can break into Rodney's email? Yeah, sure. I dated this loser once who was into computers. Oh, yeah, what happened to that guy? You know, he started some company. Bugle or Giggle or Fugle, I don't know. <laughs> Probably still living with his mom. Honey, I think you're letting your imagination run away with you there. Barry, I found a condom in her purse. Well, don't jump to conclusions. Condoms have a lot of different uses. You know, I read somewhere that Marines slip them over their gun barrels to keep them dry during maneuvers. <laughs> I hear they also use them for sex. <laughs> hey, you know, I've been on the road a lot these days. I don't know what she's doing when I'm gone. You have no proof that Trina's messing around on you. Besides the condom. Well, yeah, there's that, but at least it was still in the wrapper. Where's the rest of them? She didn't buy just one. Trina's a sensible shopper. You're gonna need more proof than that to convince me. I need to check the numbers on her cell phone. Her purse is in the kitchen. All right. Oh, crap, they're in there. All right, listen, you're gonna have to distract them. Tell them a funny story. Well, I don't know any funny story. Just make something up. <laughs> Story. Me. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess, uh, 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 oh, well, <laughs> you ladies know what a drill press is, right? <laughs> no. It's a, uh, um, Rodney. Good story, man. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do this? Look, I know he's not cheating on me. Just need proof that he's not. Okay, what's his password? I don't know. Isn't that the point of hacking? <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so, it have to be something he'd remember. You know, something important to him. Try boobs. <laughs> no. Try big boobs. And we're in. Oh, my God. Charlie. He is trying to do something. He's trying to refinance the house and enlarge his penis. Sweetie, that's spam. Okay. Oh. Me, 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 Carl. Hey, wait a minute. There's some number on here I don't know. It's on here four times. Well, one way to find out. Just dial it. It's John, that exterminator guy. Well, that explains it. He's doing work for you. It explains nothing. Why is he dialing her cell phone four times a day? Well, if he does business like me, the first three calls are from the bar to say he was on his way. <laughs> Come with me. Okay. Well, well, what do we do after we jumped on the bed? We went on the porch and stomped on the dead bees. Oh, yeah. You know, apart from losing the condom, this has been a really good day. Yeah. Wait, what's this one? Dear Rodney, I enjoyed meeting you at my college. 
I'd love to hear what you think of my new modeling pictures. Thanks in advance, Tammy Brown. Let's see what little Tammy's got. <laughs> oh, she's cute, Trina. She looks like a younger version of you. God, I don't believe this. Oh, she's just a girl looking for advice. This doesn't prove anything. Okay, you're right. I need more evidence. I've got to find more evidence. <laughs> there's a bunch of outfits here, Barry, that I don't remember seeing. Well, how can you be sure? I mean, with Jeannie, there's been whole weeks I don't remember living. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm positive I've never seen this one. She's cheating on me, Barry. Oh, buddy, she's not cheating on you. I mean, all you've got is a condom, some sexy underpants, and a handsome bee slayer. <laughs> you know, now that I say it out loud... No. No, 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 no. Did you find something? <gasps> something really bad. Oh, my God. What is it? Lipstick and earring? What? A book. <laughs> The concept of dread by Kierkegaard. This is your proof? When have you ever seen Rodney carrying around a book? He's probably reading it to impress his college hottie. Oh, Barry, what am I going to do? Well, I read in this magazine one time about how you can tell if your spouse is cheating on you. What magazine? I don't know. It's one of those ones your wife has in the bathroom. Really? Did you cut the coupon out for the tampons while you were at it? <laughs> Anyway, it says that if you take her to bed, you can figure out if she's got any new moves. Well, what's that going to tell me? It'll tell you that somebody's teaching her new moves. I mean, you know, a great dancer doesn't become a great dancer overnight. She's got to practice with a partner. Wait a second. You think I should sleep with him? I don't even want to look at him. I'm just telling him what it says in one of your magazines. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. 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 You look nice. Well, I wanted to welcome you home. Sounds good to me. Is that a new cologne? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's called Deception. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. What? Oh, just the way you turn back the bedspread. Never seen you do it like that before. Yeah, yeah, that's a little trick I invented. To help me get into bed. Shave your legs? I always shave my legs. Not up to here, you don't. Can we stop talking about my leg grooming and get busy with it? You never said get busy with it before. Do you want to chit chat or hit that? Fine, bring it on. Ow! 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 So sorry. I didn't mean stop. <laughs> That was great. That was unbelievable. Cheater. Cheater. I enjoyed last night. Me too. Seems like you've had a couple of new moves. Me? What about you? Usually you go A, then B, then C, and then you're asleep. Yeah. Last night you went A, skipped to D, and then combined B and C, which I didn't even know was humanly possible. Yeah, but well, what about you? Up until last night, E was only a theory. Hey, buddy. What you doing? I'm gonna poop. Where do you do it? Hey. 
Do you want to tell me what's going on? Why don't you tell me? All right, why don't we start with this? <laughs> God, Rodney, how many of those do you have? I got that out of your purse. I put it in my purse after you brought it home from the road. Do not try to deny it. That's ridiculous. I do not use those. You've seen my puppet show. No costumes. <laughs> Why don't you tell me about Tammy Brown? Tammy Brown is the girl that booked me at the college, Trina. Yeah, she emailed you her modeling pictures. You opened my email? Yeah, just the slutty ones. <laughs> and I know about Kierkegaard, too. Kierke who? The book from your truck. You took that out? It took me 40 minutes to wedge that under the driver's seat so it's set level. <laughs> right. Well, since we're asking questions, what's with all the new lingerie? I don't have any new lingerie. What, what about the green one with the little lace and the little hearts all over it? You don't recognize it because it's never on me for longer than 10 seconds. You want it to look familiar, slobber on it and throw it in the corner. I bet John the bee guy saw it. Why is he dialing your cell phone seven times a day? Because we have bees! And what are you doing checking my cell phone? You check my email! I don't know what is worse, you cheating on me or the fact that you are standing there lying right to my face. I'm lying? Who's trying to tell me her condom's my condom? I can't even look at you right now. Yeah, well, you're going to have to face up to what you did eventually. Could you keep it down? I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe she lied to my face. I wonder how many other lies she's told me. I don't need this. I don't need him. I'll just start over. I'm cute. Hell, I'm hot. Look at these boobs. <laughs> Pretty good for a woman of 31. I should remember to do this a lot. I'm still good looking. Everybody says so. I'll just get back down to my fighting weight. Maybe I'll get a female trainer with big boobs. If I'm going back on the market, I should say I'm 29. No, I don't mind you asking at all. I'm 28. 28, 29, 50. Oh, yeah. Feel the burn. Wow. That really does burn. A few more sets like that, and I won't be able to keep the ladies off me. <laughs> and I'm not going to tie myself down this time. And this time, I'm going to take it slow. I got married way too young the first time around. The next guy I find is going to be rich and tall with windswept hair. Oh, God, I love windswept hair. From this point on, my life is about me. I'm finally going to do things I've always wanted to do, like twins. I'm going to play golf every day with Barry and, and the twins. You know what I'm doing? I'm getting a professional massage, not one of those half-ass ones that Rodney gives. And I'm not wearing underwear, either. Where do you think you're going? To get a massage. Ah, ah, ah. Nope, nope, I'm going to play golf. You've got to keep the kids. The hell I am? Is this a condom? <laughs> yes. Jack, I found your condom. Jack, in, bow, out. Would you like to tell us where you got this? At school. Mom, Dad, all the cool kids have one. Do you know what it's for? Yeah, it's for protection. For sex. Oh. But, but don't worry, I'm not doing anything like that. Am I in trouble? We don't know yet. We're gonna have a serious talk about this later. Dad, I don't know if this is the perfect time to tell you, but you're my hero. <laughs> I will meet you outside in a few minutes. So, uh... This isn't yours. Nope. And you were telling the truth. Yes, I was. What is going on here, Rodney? Why didn't we trust each other? 
There was a condom and a guy. I wasn't here. Rodney, I've always trusted you. But now you're out on the road. I don't know what you're doing or who you're doing it with. Honey, look, this is a new thing in our lives, me being gone so much. You know, but wherever I'm at or whatever I'm doing, I'm always thinking of you and the boys. Yeah, I know that. I do, I know that. Boy, you don't know how close we came. No, you don't know how close we came. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, last night was, uh, just us, huh? Yep. And, uh, you know that E thing? Yeah. <laughs> it's never happening again. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Well, I guess I better go do this. Okay, good luck. <laughs> All right, Jackie. You ready? Aw, oh, Dad, no visual aids. <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> Heavenly.